still missing persons. Miss Sunny. With her being missing, right? What What is the chance or the likelihood that the male individual that she was with right before she went missing could he have played a part in sonny's disappearance right many of us ask on that i'm going to ask on that sort of thing because of his criminal background right like subscribe id in the discovery channel yes id in the discovery channel the links are provided below get that discovery go app as well as an id go app you might want to get those two things combined and make them into one and i'm a discovery influencer that's indeed a fact so sonny the mill in which right before she disappeared right his his lengthy i mean his criminal history right that individual it, his criminal history involved battery right that means to physically harm someone right so someone like me is going to ask, could he have played a part in the disappearance of Sonny for going missing, right? To know his story change pertaining to her going missing, right? You have a male who has a history of physically harming somebody, right? Putting his hands on someone. And then she, Sonny, is missing, right? You would put two and two together, yes, and you would question all around his criminal history to see if anything played a part, such as beatings or anything like that, right? Harming somebody physically, right? It's in his history of such, right? Criminal, right? So, Sonny, she has been missing since April 20th, 2019, and Sonny hasn't been heard from since. Uh, taking a trip with the mill I spoke on, right? Sunny knew. So, uh, Sunny was to travel to Omaha, Nebraska before disappearance, right? So, the night of April 20th, the man Sunny was with uh, called Sunny's mom, noticed Sunny was gone. Uh, and then after he returned to the vehicle after learning, or he returned to the vehicle after leaving out of the Prairie Flower Casino in Carter Lake, Iowa, right? Something's, yeah. There's something, I'm just saying because he must be involved in something because his story, let me go back to that, his story changed. He stated she was at one location, right? And then somehow changed the story and stated that she was another at another location, but somehow she goes missing, right? you changing your story your criminal history involving physical harm or um and then you changing your story involving a missing person why would someone change their story that involves someone missing because that that's that's where the guilt starts to look i mean seriously You know, yeah. You would you would stick with one story once someone goes missing. You're not going to say, well, we were here, you know, and then now later, well, we were there. Especially when law enforcement is involved. So he said he looked for Sonny and couldn't find her, right? He then left the area without Sonny and uh, he didn't phone police, right? He didn't report her missing. Okay, so yeah, there, there's an issue with that sort of thing. So you didn't, so all this changing your story and then you didn't phone police, right? Because see, that would have been the first thing if you were concerned about her. If, if there's an individual with you and you don't just like drive off, right? You're not going to just drive off because that's somebody you're concerned for. You might not care all about the person, but if you have something i mean human emotion for the individual you would have caught police right because you don't just want to leave without the person that's what's odd you, you're leaving uh, an environment without the individual you're supposed to leave with so to not call police or 
to not call and say that this person is gone or missing or whatnot. Remember, I stated that he spoke to her, her mother, but even so, police as well, right? Uh, the, the inconsistencies of the story. Him, the male I'm speaking on, right? Yeah, that, that, that's like a, a problem in, it, in itself because the first thing the human mind will do is uh, look at him. Where, okay, so, okay, too much, yeah, something, you know, something is changing too much or something with the story as in you know what was what were the things stated to Sonny's mom right how much concern was stated there because it is interesting that he did call her mom right do do men usually call the mother of females you know You know, would, would that take the look, would that take the view off of him calling Sonny's mom if, say, she were to disappear? Let me call her mother right quick. I'm going to call her mother and then she goes missing somewhere around that time, right? Would that take the view off of him or something? I'm thinking you would call her mother if someone seen you with her or something someone else knew you were with her or something sunny that mill why would you call her mother and what all would you say right did someone see him uh leave with her somewhere or did someone see him involved with her somewhere that would be a reason for you to call her mother because if something happened where she goes missing or something then it would seem that you were you were not involved or something. People have been known to do things like that. Let me phone her mother. Let me phone her family. So now that she's gone or she's disappeared or she's missing, it won't look as if I'm the guilty person. It will take the view off of me. It'll make it seem as if someone else was involved, right? Maybe that's one of these situations or something. But yeah, you would want to question. We're on investigationdiscovery.com. The ID logo stands in the far left corner. Live now, Deadly Women. Because see, I just find that it's strange that uh, he called her mother, seeming he and she were not all very, very close, all like that, right? Because the mother would, if they were very, very, very close, the mother would have knew who he was. So something about that is odd in itself him calling her mother i think i think somebody or someone or people might have seen sunny and him out and about or something right and that could be why he called her maybe he had something to do with her disappearance and he called the mother once again so it would make it seem as if he had nothing to do with it to take the guilt look off for him or something i don't know new episodes to gain access is to provide who you're subscribed to that's why this is locked down right you would in fact have access towards that to that not towards that to that sort of uh, location right there right to receive an audio visual preview is a click the play button and you would in fact receive that sort of thing yeah you would because people usually don't really call people's parents all like that unless they're real say like close or something i'm gonna call her mom because i know her mom will and they might in fact sit and hold conversations or a long conversation with the mom because they know the mom all like that right but just for some random person to call her mom like that id go original series Uh, to receive a newsletter from Investigation Discovery, right, uh, is to scroll down and type your email address in and click next and you would in fact receive that. So dear viewers, let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you feel could have happened with Sunny and who could have been involved with that. May you enjoy your day. I will enjoy mine for now and I'm gone.